What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and to your daily Bitcoin update. Um, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Uh, basically what I do every day is I take a look at Bitcoin, what happened um, at my analysis for Bitcoin, which changes sometimes, not too often in this video, it doesn't change. It's simply a, a continuation. Uh, and we take a look at some more things um, happening around Bitcoin. All right, so for example, two days ago, we took a look at the interest rate. Yesterday we, we saw what effect the interest rate hike had and today I also want to talk about a little bit of the potential for the moves we're having, all right? Because obviously, <clears throat> well, excuse me, we've been pretty bullish over the last two or three weeks, which has been great, but in the end we are in a bear market. So um, it's, always to be, it's, it's always good to be careful and, and that's something I wanted to talk about. But for now, if we take a look at the price, what we said yesterday is that we would probably take a break retest of 22,500 and then shoot up to this level here between 24,000 and 24,200 off of which I thought we were going to uh, reject which we have done uh, we, we both found support at this level around 22,500 and then went up to our price target and now I actually expected us to, to find some more resistance like immediately, like we did right here. Uh, that hasn't really happened, but I still think we are going to uh, drop down. All right, so I still think we're going to drop down, but maybe a little bit higher, maybe towards 23,000 and then and then get up there again, because I do think, and that's also what I said in the, in the other video, I do think within, within the next few days, that we'll be able to break above 24,252. Uh, because that's the main resistance level. If we can break above that, I think we can reach our price target right here between um, 25,000 and 25,500, which is a uh, very strong resistance level. So I do expect us to drop down quite uh, quite severely from there. But as, um, as I told you at the beginning of the video, uh, these updates are daily. All right, so when we hit that level, I'll, I'll, I'll just do an update on that too. For now, I just think we'll, we'll, we'll reach that level and reject from it but what happens afterwards and if this is the local top um i'm not that sure about yet but i do want to talk about my in in the end and maybe it's good to zoom out to the daily time frame for a little bit as i said in the end we are in a uh, bear market right and maybe we can drag this along yes i think we can um we are in a bear market so as you can see <laughs> we have dropped down significantly and now we've had some bullish momentum, as you can see, we're, we're up here, which is the, um, I mean, th this looks the most stable from all of these periods we've had, although this one, th this period was pretty stable too. And obviously here we had a run up to 48,000 and then we dropped down uh, by a lot. So that's the main danger, all right, that this is just a bull trap and that we're going to drop down by a lot too. So what are some very interesting price levels for that? Uh, well, first of all, the level we're going to reach, all right? I think 25,000 and, and that, that whole level between 26,000 and 25,000 is a very significant resistance level. So if I would have to put my money on a place where we were going to reverse from, I would say that is the level, all right? As I said, I will keep updating that, but as of right now, I think that's the level. If we can actually break that level, you can see that there's not that much resistance above there. And if we really want to... Uh, get to a next price target that would only be around 28,000 and uh, 29,000 So again, it's it's one of those places. I think I do think we're going to break 24,000 But then either we're going to reverse off of 25 26 or all the way up to 28 or 29 So that's going to be very interesting uh, the main thing for now is, is I just want you to be careful with these times. I mean, in the end, as I said, we are in a bear market and bull traps like these are usually designed for uh, whales to be able to, to make more money. All right. So uh, think like a whale. And for now, that's uh, that's basically my analysis. So if you do have any questions about the analysis, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.